Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do the a larger granny square, which is a double crocheted granny square, um, on the hook using only loom bands. So this was the first one I showed you how to do. This is, would be a single crochet um, granny square, so you can see that there is a difference in how they look. Um, I know in my original tutorial for this one, I said that I had not tried how to do it um, with double banding, and I did put it with some together, so this is the same exact pattern as my first one, but it is with double banding, so it does turn out and work all right with the um, with the same pattern, but just doubled, and it obviously gives you a a fuller look to the square. But um, this, of course, I think is just super pretty the way it is, so um, you don't have to use up way more bands to do this. So I just thought I wanted to share that with you quick first, and then. Um, I also share this too, because I'm in the sharing mood. This one is actually, um, I doubled the bands. So meaning I took one band, doubled it on my hook, and then did my, the single crochet granny square. So, um, a lot of finger work to get it to work right, but that's kind of how it ended up. Kind of gets a little misshapen, but, um, definitely the pattern still worked doing it as the doubled bands, so thought I'd share that too. I thought it turned out pretty. So, but we're going to work on this one, and I'm guessing that if you double band this, it will turn out just as well as the other one, so um, that'll be up to you. Um, as far as bands, the center that we start out with, it would be 40 bands plus 2, and then each row around will increase by 40 bands. So this would be 40, and this would be 80, then 120, 160, 200, so I mean it does add a lot of bands as you go around. But it also has a different look than the um, the single, so it's really up to you which one you like better. But I do have the tutorial for this one, and this is we're doing this one right now. So I'm going to start with a pink center. And what we want, um, we're going to the center here. You'll want a cap band or one band on your hook, wrap it around once into a cap band. Then we're going to pull up three, or a chain three. So take a band, pull it through your center once, and pull another band through the bands on your hook. So that's two chains, and then do a third one. So pulling up a third. So then we have the cap band, and then three chains pulled up. Now we're going to go back into our cap band. We're going to pull up one band through our cap band, put it on the hook, pull up another band through just that first part on the hook, and then take a third band and pull it through everything. So that's what we have now. Then we're going to do that again. Take a band, pull it up through your cap band, and take another band, pull it up through just that first part, and a third band through everything on your hook. So now we have this. Here's our cap band. So then you're going to chain one. So grab a band and pull it through everything on your hook. Now we'll go back into the center. And we're going to pull up two bands. So one. And two. And then pull a band through everything. Go back into the center. Pull up a band, pull another band through, and then pull a band through everything. And one more time, back in the center, pull up a band, pull up a band through just the first one, and then pull a band through everything. So here's what we have now. 
and you're going to chain one, pull a band through everything, then back into the center, and we're going to do three double crochets, is what it amounts to. So we're going to pull up two bands, and we'll pull one band through everything, so that's one double crochet. Go back into the center, pull up two bands, so there's one, two, and pull a band through everything. So now since that chain we've done two double crochets, back into the center, pull up two bands, one and two, then pull a band through everything. So there's the three double crochets that we needed to do. Then do a chain band through everything. And we'll go back into the center, pull up two bands. There's one and two, and then pull a band through everything. So that's one double crochet, and then go back in the center, pull up two bands, and take a band through everything, and go back in the center. Pull up two bands, and pull a band through everything. Now do a chain band. And now we want to find the first stitch, or the first chain three that we did, which is right here. So here's one, two, and then there's the third band we pulled up to begin with. So I'm going to go right in the top of there. both ends on the hook, and I'm going to pull a band through everything on my hook, put it back on, and we're going to do a slip knot. And that is the first row that we did here, or that I did here with the red. So I'll stretch this out so you can see, like that. So on to the next row, I'm trying to throw in the crochet terms so you can kind of get used to that so that maybe you'll be inspired to just learn how to crochet as well because like I, I think it's fabulous to do so. So our next row, um, now keep try to keep talking as much as possible, um, sometimes I get, I kind of zone out and I forget but um, also with the tails I'm going to leave them loose and then I'll um, tie them off at the end, or you can weave them in, it's really how you want to finish it, that um, it's up to you. But for the next row, I'm going to start in the same corner I finished. I'm going to put my hook into this little spot here, in between the three double crochets. Put my hook right in there. I'm going to pull up a band through, put it on my hook. And I'm going to pull up two more bands. So one and two. And we're going to go back in through this little center here, or corner. I'm going to pull up a band on my hook. Pull up another band. Then take a band through everything. So that's technically two double crochets. Let me go back into the center or the corner. I'll get it right eventually. Pull up a band and pull another band through just that first part. And then pull a band through everything. So there's three. Then we'll do a chain. Then we'll go back into the same corner pull up two bands and get that one out of my way. 
two bands. So there's one and two. Then I'll pull a band through everything. I'll go back into the corner, pull up a band, and pull up another one, and pull a band through everything. So I'm going to do that one more time in this corner. So back into the corner, pull up two bands. So one and two, and then pull a band through everything. So now we have this. So now what we're going to do is find the next corner. Actually, we need to do a chain one, sorry. We just pull the band through everything and then do a chain one. Like that. Now to the next corner. We're going to go in here. We're going to pull up two bands. So one and two. And then pull a band through everything. Back into the corner. Pull up two bands. One. And two. And then pull a band through everything. Back into the corner. Pull up two bands. There's one and two. Then pull a band through everything. Then we'll do a chain one. And we're going to go back into the same corner. Pull up two bands. One, two, and then a band through everything. Back into the corner. Pull up two bands. There's one and two. And then pull a band through everything. Then we'll go back into the corner again. Pull up two bands. There's one and two. And then pull a band through everything. So here's what we have on this corner. Now do a chain one. Find the next corner over. Put your hook in there. Pull up two bands. So one and two. And pull a band through everything. Back into the corner. Pull up two bands. One and two. Pull a band through everything. Then go back into the corner. Pull up a band. Or pull up two bands, sorry. Then a band through everything. Now we do a chain one. Then we'll go back into the corner. Pull up a band, or pull up two bands. Then pull a band through everything. Back into the corner, pull up two bands. One, two, and pull a band through everything. Then back into the corner, pull up two bands. Then a band through everything. So here's this corner. Then we'll do a chain one. Find the last corner. Stick your hook in through there. Pull up two bands. There's one and two. And pull a band through everything. Back into the corner, pull up two bands. Two. 
do. Then pull a band through everything. Then back into the corner. Pull up two bands. And two. And then pull a band through everything. Then we'll do a chain one. Then we'll go back into the corner. Pull up two bands. So one and two. Then pull a band through everything. And back into the corner. Pull up two bands. Pull a band through everything. And back in the corner. Pull up two bands. One and two. And pull a band through everything. So there's our last corner. Now do a chain one. And once again, we're going to find the top one on our first chain three we did. So one, two, and here's the top one. So you want to find the little kind of teardrop shape there. Put your hook through there. And pull a band through everything on your hook. And make that slip knot. Like so. So, I can stretch this out here. That's what we have now. So we'll do another row around and then hopefully um, you'll notice the pattern. Um, generally the first one we just go in the corners, but then as we get to the third row is when we start adding in a center as well. Or, like here, would be the first two. Here's the first row that I did over here, and here's the second row. And then our third row, we're going to have a center to add in as well. And then as we do that, our next row is going to actually increase to have two more centers, and then the row after that will have three. So once you have the corners down, and then you start recognizing the side patterns here, or the side little centers that need to go in, um, then you can just increase this exponentially as big as you want it, and until you run out of bands. Um, so really it's just kind of getting past um, the first center part, figuring out the corners, and then adding in the center parts. And you can see that like our next row will have one, and the row after that's going to have two, and then we'll have three, and then four if I did it again. So it just kind of keeps growing out like that. So we'll do another row, then I'll try to explain again the exact pattern um, using kind of crochet loom band tech terminology and then um, hopefully you will be able to continue on from there to doing your own uh, much larger and as big as you want so so we want to start in I like starting in corners I'm um, just I guess that's the way I like to start so here's where we ended it last time so I'm going to start in this corner right to the left of that so in the corner we're going to pull up three bands, so chain three to start, like that, go back into the corner, pull up two bands, and then pull a band through everything, and then go back into the corner, Pull up two bands, and pull a band through everything, and then do a chain one, and go back into the corner, pull up two bands, so one, and two and pull a band through everything and then back into the corner 
pull up two bands. So there's one and two. And then pull one band through everything. And then back in the corner one more time. Pull up two bands. There's two. And then pull a band through everything. So, corner. It is chain three and then two double crochet, then a chain one, and then three double crochet, and then a chain one, and then instead of going all the way to the far corner, we're going to go on our next little open spot here. So going through there, pull up two bands, so one, two, then pull a band through everything. Go back into the center here. Pull up two bands. Pull up two the, the two bands. Then pull a band through everything. Then go back in there again. Pull up two bands. And then pull a band through everything. So when you get to these center spots, it is three double crochets, and then don't forget your chains in between transitioning between um, corners or between the corner and a center area. So we have that chain. So here's we're going to go into the next corner now. So it'll be pull up two bands. And I did do that chain. I don't might have kind of bypassed the fact that I did that, so there's a chain in there. And we pull up two bands in the corner and then pull a band through everything. And then back into the corner. Pull up two bands. And then pull a band through everything. Back in the corner. Pull up two bands. And pull a band through everything. Then do a chain one band. Then back into the corner. And we're going to pull two bands. One and two. And pull a band through everything. Now we're going to do that two more times. So back into the corner. Pull up two bands, then pull a band through everything, back into the corner, pull up two bands, and then a band through everything. So, corner, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets. So now we're coming around to the side again. So that will have, we're going to chain one from the corner, and this will have three double crochets. So I'm just going to pull those up. So that is one double crochet. Go back in. That's two. And back in again. And that's three. Then we do chain one, and we find that next spot, which is a corner. Go in through the corner, pull up what will be three double crochets. So that means pulling up 
two bands and pulling a band through everything and back in so that's one double crochet and then we're going to do two more one and two then a band through everything and back in the corner pull up two more bands and a band through everything so that was three double crochets and we need that chain one and go back into the corner and we'll do three more double crochets So there's one. Now I'll do two more. So I have two. One more to go. And that's three. like that. So now again we're going to chain one. We're going to go into the next empty spot right here and do a three double crochets. So pull up two bands and a band through everything. So that's one double crochet. We need to pull up two more. two and that would be three and do a chain one find the corner go in through there and it'll be three double crochets so there's one that's two And that would be three. And do that chain one. And go back into the corner and do three more double crochets. two and three like that and we'll do a chain one and we have our last center to go in or I call it a center I guess but last side piece. So we're going to go in here and do three double crochets. So that's one. two
and three. And we got to do that chain one. And then again, in that first part we put on, we have the one, two, three, or chain three we did first. Find that top band and get under that kind of teardrop shape. And then pull a band through and do a slip knot. I like so. So of course once these bands are hidden, it looks a little prettier. You can either pull them underneath your stitches. Just kind of weave them along where you can. Um, you can tie them off or tie them into some tight knots um, and then cut them, which is a little risky depending on what kind of bands you're using. If they're kind of slippery or not, that might not be easiest or wisest to do if they can kind of unslip from themselves. Um, this last one's usually a little bit more of a pain on the edge because there isn't really anywhere to hide it under anything else, so you just kind of have to pull it back to where you can hide it. Or if you do an edging on it, then that would you could hide it in there, but then you have to hide the thing from the edging too, so. But, so now, the pattern for the next row, I would start in a corner, so wherever I, my end here, where did I, I hit it so well I can't find it, there it is. So here's where I, I ended the last row. So I would start in this corner, and it would be a chain three, then two double crochets, single chain, three double crochets all in the corner. Then we do the chain one, and then we come into this next center, and it would be three double crochets, then a chain one, then we'll go into the next side here, it would be three more double crochets, and then a chain one, then you find the corner, and it would be three double crochets, a chain one, three double crochets, chain one, then the side, three double crochets, chain one, Next one, three double crochets, chain one. Last corner, would, or this corner here, not the last one, be three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, chain one in this corner. And this next open spot would be the three double crochets, chain one. And then right here would be three double crochets, chain one. And then again, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, chain one. And then three double crochets, chain one and three double crochets, chain one in the last one, and then you would do a slip knot to connect them. So, um, hopefully you kind of got the, mainly it's just figuring out the the double crochets, what each one is, which is, there's three of them right here. So once you have that down, and then you kind of get the, the initial pattern, um, like here we started and just did the corners, or first we did out of the center, and then we did out of the corners, and then with the next row we started adding those centers in. And then that's where, that's how it increases exponentially to however big you want to make it, so that you can add the, um, keep going for the rows. So, But I hope that you enjoyed this, that it was easier to, or easy to follow. Um, it's always my goal to make it so that you can um, be able to do it yourself. And um, hopefully you guys are still giving them a try. I think it's fabulous, and I know a lot of people who have been doing this, they're like, you know, I could never crochet with yarn, but this makes so much sense to me and is so much easier. And I'm hoping that a lot of those people will go back and try it with yarn again, because um, sometimes it's just, you know, relating a craft to something else makes it a lot easier. Like the rainbow loom, when I first started making, I couldn't make a single chain because I couldn't figure out how to loop it. So, um, I mean, that's seems so funny now, but once I started relating it to crochet and to loom knitting, um, I mean, obviously it's kind of opened up a whole new world for me in being able to make different projects and um, different designs, and um, that's kind of what I'm hoping um, other people will do, because I think crochet is fabulous, and I think that there aren't enough people that are doing it and um, creating new things with it, so... But if you have any questions, you'll just have to let me know, and I'll try my best to clear them up. Um, I definitely have more hook-only projects coming, um, some kind of incorporating the granny squares together. 
Um, I think that I'm just kind of showing how to connect them and some of the projects that you can do with them I think it would be kind of a cute idea. Um, I did have someone ask, um, or a few people ask, about using silicone bands and making these into pot holders. Um, theoretically it should work, but I guess it would depend. I haven't tried putting anything hot on a silicone band to see if it would um, work well as a pot holder, um, but that's really kind of up to you and you'll have to test it. I would definitely put something underneath of it just in case and maybe not use your best pans to give it a try in case something does melt or something. I would assume it would be fine, but I don't they don't exactly say the specifications on the band, bag of bands about the heat that the these would take. So, But, um, of course, if you want to share these with me, you can share them with me on my um, Instagram, which is at Crafting Fantastic, or on my Facebook page, which um, you should be able to find it either by Feeling Spiffy or Crafting Fantastic. Um, otherwise, the link is underneath the video in the description. And then, of course, if you want to know when I'm coming out with new tutorials on things, um, you can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube, and that would be fabulous. But thanks again for watching, and I will have more for you soon.